How's it going everybody? It's Grizzly Artwork here and today we got kind of a cool new video that I haven't really done before and it's going to be me unboxing this spray paint starter pack um, and then I'm going to be making a painting with just these items. So let's get it started. First thing we have is just some, just some newspaper. The next thing we have is going to be an 8 inch circle. The 8 inch the six inch and the four inch. And the next thing is the crescent moon stencil. Um, you can just take white and barely dust over it and then you have a cool crescent moon. Next thing we have is the shooting star stencil. So basically you hold it like this and then you spray some white into it and it creates a shooting star. This is really cool. It has the how to start spray paint art. We have some weights. Then, we have the poster board that we can actually make the paintings on. This starter pack has everything you need to start making like simple spray paint paintings besides buying the spray paint. Um, and the spray paint that I recommend is the Rust-Oleum 2X. I have had, um, I've made a lot of great paintings with it and I really enjoy it. Um, but other than that, let's start by making the painting. So I'm gonna try and use everything that comes in the starter pack. So let's go ahead and use all three of these. Um, I like to just put them randomly. Maybe you can put them like this so they're offset so they uh, so there can be two moons right next to each other. All right, so that looks about good. And then I'm gonna grab some black and just lightly dust over them just so that I know where the moons are at. go. Let's do just some basic colors. So we'll do like a blue planet and maybe like a red and then maybe just like a regular black and white moon down there. Take some light blue and some darker blue. Just make something really easy. And we'll take our white. And our black. Now this is when our paper comes into play. We'll crumple it up, make sure it's all nice, and then spread it back out, put it over, and just do these nice little movements. There we go. Maybe another time. Nice. Now you can just toss that to the side. And we'll go ahead Grab a little bit of white just for a little bit of a highlight. Awesome. Now we'll come with our black. Now we're gonna let this dry just for a sec for about, you know, about two minutes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, the eight inch one, we're gonna put it over it. And we'll use a couple of our weights just to keep it down. Now we'll do is we'll make this little red planter right there. Take some dark red, and maybe use your palette knife. And just hold it. There we go. Right, take some white red. Go over the top of it, and same thing. Black right here and white on the front. I'll grab another piece of paper, dump it up, and do the same thing. There we go. Grab a white again. A little bit of a shadow, some highlights. There we go, and then dry for two minutes. And then we're just gonna do like just a black and white down here. So just take some black and some white. And I'll show you a different trick which I think is kind of that I like. Crumple it up and just almost just dab it. That's another cool way of doing it. Just adding some texture then you can let it dry. Or Four inch diameter right there. Add our weight. Then I'm just gonna take my black. I'm just gonna make a simple background uh, just with black. So we're just gonna cover the whole thing. Okay, 
And you can use your palette knife to hold the stencils down. All right, and then about this point, I like to use my palette knife and I like to sign my name down here and the year. There we go. Then we're gonna take some more of a white and we're gonna spray it into our finger and flick and that creates stars. There we go. Now another thing you can do is you can take some white and just add a little bit of highlight. There we go, we can do maybe to the back here as well. And we'll take our palette knife again, go under the stencil, pick it up. And we'll add maybe just a little bit of highlight right here too. There we go. Grab that there. And grab this one. And there we go. All right, so now we're gonna use our shooting star stencil. We're just going to use just some white and you're just going to spray into it just very carefully to make a nice little shooting star. There we go. And then we'll use our last one. We'll do a crescent moon and maybe we'll put it up there. And then we'll just add it on there like that. Just do a little squirt of white. And there we go. All right, so that's how to use all of these, all these stencils from the starter pack. I hope this helps you out. And if you would like to buy a starter pack, uh, go ahead and check the link in my bio. And uh, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.